Welcome to John's Weird Week, the Drum's Weird News Roundup. Coming up, a well-dressed horse, polishing monitoring pigeons, and how the world's ugliest football mascot found love. Bookmaker William Hull has dressed a noble steed in Harris Tweed to celebrate this year's Cheltenham Festival, where Tweed is, of course, de rigueur, darling. The bookie measured up veteran racehorse Morstead for a bespoke three-piece suit, complete with a crisp white shirt, a chic tie, and a natty flat cap. Designed by former Alexander McQueen apprentice Emma Santam King, the elegant equine outfit took four weeks to sew and required ten times more tweed than is used in a standard suit, with the exception of those belonging to John McCrick. Inspired by Morstead's transformation, I've decided that horse heads are the new black. See how my new look fared in public at the end of the video. Next, like canaries down a mineshaft, London's pigeons are being conscripted to measure air pollution in the capital by wearing teeny tiny backpacks. Digitus LBI in Plum Labs have assembled the Pigeon Patrol, a team of 10 crack birds whose sensor rucksacks will automatically tweet detailed data on pollution levels from the skies. Additionally, the aviary agents will alert the public if the air is unsafe for human consumption by developing respiratory problems and plummeting straight to terra firma. The campaign is aiming to inform the public that air pollution contributes to the death of 10,000 Londoners every year, and this greatly exceeds pigeon-related fatalities in the city. For now, and finally, Kingsley, the postmodern Partick Thistle mascot whose unveiling prompted cries of Kill it! Kill it with fire! has finally found love after a lengthy hunt for a Queensley. Partick Thistle embarked on a social media hunt to find a woman willing to date the jaggy abomination. And while he may have been described as the ugliest mascot in sport, they were safe in the knowledge that as far as Glaswegians go, Kingsley's not such a bad catch. A die-hard Thistle fan finally agreed to date Kingsley, but tragically, their first date was postponed by the consistently apocalyptic Scottish weather. Their love couldn't be denied, however, and they were finally united in the romantic surroundings of Fair Hill. If things don't work out, Kingsley, here's what a date with me would look like. A special friendship. Wondrous journey. Well, that's enough horsing around for this week. Please trot back next week. And if you liked the video, give it a share. Remember, you can read all these stories on the drum, or you can watch a man in a horse mask describe them to. Oh, you've already done that. Okay. Bye. Dim the lights, grab some popcorn, and turn off your mobile phone because I'm going to take you down the red carpet of weird marketing news surrounding the Oscars this weekend. First up, UK cinema chain Odeon has rebranded its Leicester Square headquarters as Lee Odeon in support of perennial Oscars loser Leonardo DiCaprio.